Hi guys! Another day, another vlog! In today's video, ang topic po natin ngayon ay, this is an interesting topic, paano magsimula ng online business. Yay, 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 yay. Alam naman natin na ngayon, usong-uso ang online business, no? Kasi uh, maliban sa accessible lang siya, ano kasi, pwede kang, kahit may Facebook account ka lang, pwede ka lang mag-business. Kasi, as I've noticed, na magpo-post ka lang, like, like example uh, yeah, if you have clothing business so pwede ka mag-post or kahit ano yung mga online buying and selling na mga things or stuff or kahit ano pa yan so yan ang notice ko na trend ngayon so, ma so much as well uh, put up a topic about this kasi isa rin ako sa makaka-relate ng online business at saka uh, madali lang siya ngayon kasi hindi mo na kailangan mag-put up ng like store. Online store lang. So, i-share ko sa inyo ang I have a list here. I have five or more than na tips on how to do an online business. Yay! So, oh wait. So the very first one, first, first, first. So the very first one is, uh, I would suggest that uh, choose a bit a business that you are passionate about. For example, ako na realize ko na kasi mahilig ako bumibili sa online noon pa man since 2013 or 2011. Kasi for me, ako, mabilis lang ang online no? pero the thing is, there are pros and cons. So, the thing is, you will wait lang din naman, hindi katulad ng bibili ka mag-shopping sa mall, makakuha mo agad yung item. But sa online, kasi shipping pa siya, ba? So, ganun. So, ako, na-realize ko na noon pa man, hilig na akong mag-online shopping. And then, parang, why not make it? a living or make it as a business kasi sayang din naman yung shipping na para sa akin lang yung items what if uh, yung shipping is yung shipping sa mga items na binibili ko ay magagamit ko din like sa iba ko pang mga bibilhin na pwede ko namang ibenta so I would like to say na choose something that you are passionate about kasi in the long term in the long run na parang Kasi may mga business na magsasawa ka din naman, ba? So, kung it is something na you are passionate about, parang, ano siya eh, it does not feel work, like it's working or you are selling na parang ma-force ka mag-sell. It is like selling at the same time, playing, kasi you're enjoying it. Uh, gusto mo siya, kaya parang malawak ang passion mo in that sense. So, there is love na love mo din itong uh, uh, love mo din itong field na to. So, parang you will find many ways na papalaguin ito. Like, hindi ka lang like limited. Kasi gusto mo din ito personally. For example, ako. Gusto gusto ko ang like clothes, bags, or shopping shoes, or kung ano-ano pa yan. Pero I preferably chose clothing sa mga clothing line. Ako, personally, gustong-gusto ko din ang bumibili ng ganito. So, parang side bit na lang or sideline na lang yung uh, magtitinda ako. Kasi personally, uh, sa akin din to eh. So, kung magtitinda ako, it's a win-win, right? Na kapag bili pa ako sa self ko, at nakapagnegosyo pa ako. So, kumikita pa ako while doing my passion. So, get that? And, the next one is, make sure it is marketable. Marami rin naman kasing mga business ideas, no? Like, example, like, yun nga, clothing, photography, food. Food is very, ano, food is very common and food is 
very like you can say na talagang it will last kasi palagi tayong kumakain and if you will creating, inventing or selling food, meron talagang bibili. Promise, meron talaga. So kung ako sa inyo, kung passion niyo talaga magluto or you're creative in making dishes or ano pa yan, like baking, go for it, girl. Kaya mo yan. Make a living out of it. So make sure na it is market marketable. Second, kasi uh, nowadays we are so into social media, right? So, it's so easy to market things. Mag-picture ka lang. Parang everyone is drooling. Parang everyone is, ah, oh, ang sarap naman. Scrolling through your Facebook na, oh my God, burger, fries, or ano pa yan, leche flan. Or, it's so easy to market. So, make sure na you have a product that is super, super, super marketable. Especially, no, food and clothing and photography ma ano talaga events and styling talagang it's so ano these days in demand i can really say you can really say right kasi kung scrolling through your facebook you can see these things so kung ako sa inyo if you have passion like this or selling up oh, selling <laughs> selling ukay ukay oh my god ukay ukay kasi yung iba pag nakapag picture na sa clothes nila, hindi na nila yan isusuot pa ulit, or hindi na nila pakita sa picture pa ulit. So, they kept on people, especially girls, kept on buying new clothes. So, kung ako sa inyo, magbenta ka na. Kasi, malay mo dyan ka, uh, ano, mayaman. Yeah, so that's the second one. So, the third one is, of course, research about your business. This is very important kasi we all know na tough ang competition ngayon. There was a quote that I read somewhere na uh, provide what the market needs because if there is a market, there is a money to be made. Like, for example, nakita mo sa isang lugar na wala silang refilling station and then maraming maraming tumitira or it's you you see that it's very marketable and parang papatok ang business mo dyan. Please huwag ka na mag-business sa lugar na marami ng refilling station kasi you know, ma-divide na yung ano pro possible profit mo niyan. So, instead na nagbibusiness ka to gain profit, parang okay lang yung benta mo para lang sa rent or sa mga expenses, right? So, find a place and supply what they need. That's what I'm talking about. So, the fourth one is, this is very relevant talaga when it, when it comes to business. Make sure na it's profitable. Kasi, kung magbibusiness ka rin lang naman na you can just gain a little profit. Uh, okay naman ang a little profit, but there is a volume in in demand. Like, for example, uh, yung iba, they don't mind na ano, parang mura lang sila, no? But, mind you, dun pala sila sa vol volume na kakapag-profit. Like, example, we are comparing two soaps. Example, si soap A, Yung sabon A, ay 5 pesos. And si sabon B, uh, 10 pesos. So, parang, ay, parang siguro maganda si sabon B kasi mahal. And then, so, may bumibili. And then, si sabon A, pang masa siya. 5 pesos, di ba? So, if si sabon A, pala mo murang, maliit lang pa profit nito, ganun. But, they will uh, raise at the, at their volume will double up, rise up. So, kahit mura lang sila, but they will sell 500 sabon in a day, while uh, ito medyo hindi siya masyadong mura, but tingin mo maganda ang quality, but they will just sell like 100 a day. So, win-win pa rin si mura, di ba? Na murang sabon. So, that's what I'm saying na please, please re research and make sure it is profitable. Kasi ayaw lang din naman natin mag-business ng 
So, ayun na nga. Make sure na it is profitable. Kasi ayaw lang din naman natin mag-business na maku-close din naman agad. Kasi, of course, sayang yung in-invest natin, no? Hindi na basta-basta makikita ang pera ngayon. Maliban na lang kung ang yaman-yaman mo, uh, bumabahan ang pera mo. But, you know what? Uh, Na-notice ko sa mga mayayaman, they are really very careful in spending and in making their investment. So, kay sila... Totoo nga yung sinasabi nila na kung sino pa ang mas mayaman, mas yumayaman pa sila kasi they are very wise in spending their money, in uh, investing. Kasi pa hindi sila basta-basta lang, go lang ng go. They are thinking, they are researching. So, please, please make sure na your business is prof profitable. So, that's four. And the last but not the least, no, sa naisip ko lang naman ito, sa idea ko lang naman ito, sa notice ko lang naman ito, sa personal experience ko lang naman ito is um, create a business that you will see in the long run. Like, it's for the long-term engagement. Kasi nga, please, please, business ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, hindi basta-bastang pera lang. Okay lang naman kung you will just uh, invest 5,000. Pero kahit na piso pa yan, pera pa rin yan, pinaghihirapan pa rin yan, oh my god. So, of course, the goal of your business is to grow. And hindi lang naman ang business mag-grow your relationship into uh, putting your business, self-growth, uh, business growth, and also, uh, we are foreseeing na our business will last, diba? Kasi sayang din naman yung invest mo. But we all know na there are really um, fallback in mga businesses. But of course, uh, I would suggest na we will ano talaga like if nag profit na yung business mo ano uh, save it. Kasi we don't know sa sales eh. Ang sales pa baba ay tataas pa baba yan. So, panahon na tataas yan, save the money, save the profit. Para sa times na medyo mahina ang sales ngayon. Kasi, example, yung paninda mo ay buko salad. So, syempre naman, sinong magbubuko salad? Siguro meron din, na, din naman, pero sinong magbubuko buko salad sa panahon ng tag-ulan, right? So, they prefer kakain ng ano ba, ramen. So, sa panahon ngayon, meron din naman talagang bibili, but konti na lang. So, those are the rainy days. So, save for the rainy days. Kasi nga, hindi ganun, um, level ang sales. I don't know, siguro mayroong mga business na hindi ko pa uh, nalalaman na uh, siguro sa isang karinderia everyday mayroong sales. Pero hindi talaga most of the times. May mga times na more than uh, maximum ang sales mo. Mayroong ding times na more than minimum. So, I would say na save your profit para you would look forward in the days na hindi masyadong malaki ang sales mo. So, it's like win-win din naman and we are looking forward to long-term engagement for our business, no? So, bakit parang nagiging si Kari Navela na ako dito na ano, may puhunan. You know what, guys? I really love watching that show kasi marami kang matutunan and then at the same time, uh, you'll know how to invest or to engage in business na ano mas masaya kung pinapanood ang mga tao na they started from scratch talaga and then boom ano meron na silang limang branches parang ganun so yeah i hope guys this video help you in any way or another hindi ko alam but hopefully nakapag-share ako ng good content today kasi for me ano kasi this is one of the things that i want to share kasi hindi naman ako masyadong knowledgeable i have just a little knowledge and a little bit of research but uh, i'm thankful that i able to share this one. So, guys, thank you so much. Ano man ako kayo sa video na ito. And please, 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 subscribe to our channel. Meron pa tayong pag-giveaway. I-link ko sa taas. And I hope you will join kasi announce ko siya in a week. And don't forget to like this video. Please, please, subscribe down below. Nandyan lang po ang, ang subscribe button. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If if you want to share this video, nito, you can also share this one. So thank you guys! I hope you, you'll keep watching our videos. Thank you so much! Bye!